All right, guys, welcome back. This is going to be a special episode of Principal Outdoors on the YouTube channel. Uh, again, I have with me here Hiroshi Nishine, master lure designer. Uh, I've always wanted to have him in here. It took a while to get him in here. Um, and it's harder to get him to talk about himself, but he's going to do it this time because he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so uh, um, we met about a year and a half, year and a half, maybe yeah. almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just blown away by, I mean, I'm not artistic at all. You know, I can't even draw a stick person, right? And here's a guy that can design lures, carves lures, been doing it his whole life. And he's, he, you know, that's all he's going to do in his life. That's, he, when you meet somebody who, there's one thing that is their passion, and that's what they do, it's pretty impressive. And when they're very talented at it, like Hiroshi is, it's even more impressive. So I wanted to talk to him a bit. Uh, about his history, because I want you guys to get to know who Hiroshi is. I've been lucky enough to fish with him a couple of times, and uh, he actually changed a lot about the way I look at fishing. And I really want you guys to get to know him a bit. So Hiroshi, welcome to the to the channel. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Johnny Carson on a talk show. No. Oh. <laughs> um, so you were uh, born in Japan. Yes, I'm born in Japan. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you lived there for most of your life. Yes. Um, well, your younger life, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and how did, when did you actually start designing lures? Uh, I was starting for lure fishing, 12 years old. Okay. And then I also started lure making. Same, at at same about age. 12 years old. Yeah, because I had no money to buy lure. Okay. But I, I love to create something. Yeah. So I started uh, to lure making. So did you start with wood and a knife, like Ooh, carving? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and you actually, so were you 12, 13, mm -hmm. you actually fished with some of the lures you created? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, of course. And obviously caught fish, I guess? Of course. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Good. Did you know then that that's what you wanted to do your whole life, or? Yeah, I don't know why, but I believed this, this uh, you know, lure crafting would yeah. be my, you know, Walk my calling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you knew when that. I, when I started lure, lure making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but I, I believe it was. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. So and so you just at twelve you started doing it, mm -hmm. and you you were actually pretty young when you mm -hmm. started doing it professionally. You were mm -hmm. nineteen years old. Yes. When you started working with his name was Mr. Tatsumi Endo. Yep. So you were what, he was a lure designer as well. Uh, he's a lure designer. Also, he make handmade lure. Okay. He he make a you know wooden lure. Okay. In Japan, and he's a, one of the famous lure uh, builder in Japan. Okay. Maybe top top three guy. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, when I finished high school, I really wanted to be the lure builder, but I didn't know how. Yeah. Where, so where do you go for that? So. Right? I decided to uh, not. I'm not. I, I was not going to uh, college, yeah. and university, yeah. and then instead, uh, I started travel by by bicycle. Okay. Yeah. All over in Japan. Okay. Yeah. So I just thought I have to fish as 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 much as possible, and I have to learn how to fish, uh, how to do a fishing, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, in in the during the tone uh, uh, travel by mm -hmm. bicycle, yeah. I found uh, one lure in the taku shop, okay. which is made by Mr. Endo. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, I was so impressed, and then I just wrote a letter oh, to him. Okay. Please, please teach teach me how to make fishing lure. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he did he say yes right away? No, or? no. Okay. No. <laughs> Three times I refused. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, well, okay. yeah, but I, I, I didn't uh, you know, give, give up. Yeah, yeah. yeah give up. Yeah. And then uh, after three times refused, mm -hmm. uh, finally he accepted <laughs> to be, you know. He knew you weren't going to give up, so he said yeah, he yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. So, and that whole time when mm. you're writing him letters, you're still mm. carving your own lures and doing, still mm. learning your craft at that mm -hmm, time, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and were you, be, so before you started working mm -hmm. for him, you were were you getting a lot better at that point on your own? Uh, of you were getting pretty of good. Course. Yeah. When, when I started, the, you know, apprentice with Mister Endo, yeah. he told me, forget everything. Okay. Your way. Yeah. Because which affect, you know. Yeah. You know, to to running the you know, 
you know, uh, rule making. Okay. So I forget everything. Then I start from zero with Mr. Endo. It must be hard to forget everything. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. The, so he taught you his way of doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's why he told me. Okay. Yeah. So was he teaching you mm -hmm. the mechanics of carving mm -hmm. and how to carve? Or was he teaching you how to create? Or was it both? Uh, both. It was both. both. Yeah. But he didn't, he didn't uh, uh, teach me, you know, uh, how can I say, how can, how can I say English? Uh, say it in Japanese, I'll have no idea what you're uh, saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not hand by hand. Okay. Just, I just watch him. Oh, okay. You, he, yeah, yeah. You and did, then okay. uh, I, I learning. Okay, just from, by watching. Yeah, just okay. watching. Okay. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't. Uh, teach me how. Okay. Yeah, but uh, he 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 just teach me how to sh sharpen the knife. Like this. Okay. Yeah. yeah th this kind of he he teach me, but how to carve, how to paint, how to you know finish rule, he didn't. You you so you had to learn that on yeah, your own and figure uh, out how to yeah. do. Yeah. The funny thing is, the first two years, I had no money. Yeah. Because apprentice has no you know. You don't get paid at all. No pay. No. Okay. No pay, but you know. Uh, then uh, I was thinking how I can, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, live with him. So yeah. I found that, you know, junk car in his backyard. Okay. And first two years, I, I was sleeping in the junk car. In, in a car? In the car. Okay. Wow. In the car. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So you're like 19, 20 years old? And Nin I started <laughs> 19, 19 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, and maybe two, so last two years, I was sleeping in the car. Okay. And then... Uh, after two years, uh, the workshop of Mr. Tatsumi, uh, Mr. Endo, yeah. moved to other other place. Okay. And then uh, he made he made me the one space to to sleep oh. in the workshop. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, he put the, you know this this kind you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know curtain. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got the one space which is you know folding bed. <laughs> Behind the curtain. So you had a curtain for a wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. I was living in the in the workshop oh, after, wow. after three years. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Good. yeah. So why did when did you leave him? So you were mm. you were there for five years, about you said, and six and a half half years. Okay. Yeah. And then you you decided to go on your own to start your own company, or yeah. yep. Uh, after after starting the apprenticeship, three years and a half. Yeah. Years later. Uh, Mr. Mr. Endo uh, approved me to establish, uh, you know, my own brand. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. so that's how it works. He has yeah. to. Yeah. He has to approve you. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that how it works in Japan for any apprentice, like in any yeah. field? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense. So he's he kind of gives you a blessing, saying, "Okay, mm -hmm. now you've learned enough, mm -hmm. and you can move mm -hmm. on." Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 So is that when you moved to Canada the first no, time? No. No. Uh, after that. You know, establish my company. Uh, I moved to Lake Beer. Yeah, Lake Beer. Do you know yeah. Lake Beer? I've heard of it. I yeah. see a lot of big fish coming out. Yeah, of there. it's the largest lake in uh, Japan. Okay. And which which in, in Lake, uh, uh, you know, someone catch uh, caught the you know world record large mouse. Oh yeah. Maybe okay. Ten years ago, I don't remember. I when, think I remember that. Yeah. 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 It's a, very good lake. Yeah, and yeah. I was I had a small workshop beside the lake. Oh, wow. maybe 30, 30 steps away from the lake. Oh wow! Okay. And I fish <laughs> okay. every day. Maybe yeah. three hundred day I was fishing. Oh lake wow, wow! Wow! Yeah. So you'd actually fish Lake Biwa. Yeah. And then you design a lure yeah, and go yeah, try yeah, yeah. it and all that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this this uh, top water bait. Oh yeah. Yeah. This top water bait I made by the Lake Biwa. It's a this wooden wooden lure. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then two years later, uh, one, one of my friends who, is li who was living in Canada mm -hmm. just called me. Mm -hmm. you have, do, do you have interest to move to Canada? Uh -huh. And then uh, I had a chance to, you know, come to Canada. To come to Canada. Yeah. 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 And that was in, what, what that was in uh, 2000. No, was it early no, 98. 98. 98. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then yeah. you moved to Canada, you moved to BC, right? BC, um, yes. Just because that's where your friend was and it was the yeah, most Yeah, uh, my friend was though. living there. Yeah. And my friend, friend has a hotel okay. in the uh, British Columbia. It's very, very 
countryside. Okay. It's called Lund. Lund. Okay. Lund is a, you know, same, same. The same boat? Lund? Lund? Okay. It's yeah. a very, very small village. Okay. Uh, it's a, it's a north end of the highway 101. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I moved to there. Okay. No bass, but lots of saltwater fish in there. Oh, yeah. 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 And good, uh, a lot of good fishing in BC too. Yeah. So, yeah. For, and from what I understand mm -hmm. is, <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, but <laughs> you had to catch fish to eat. Yeah. Like it was tough for you when you were out yeah, there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically came to Canada with no money. Yeah, and, no money. Yeah, and if you <laughs> wanted to eat, you had to yeah. catch fish, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. Because uh, my friend, friend has owned the hotel. Yeah. He called me to come to, you know, land. Yeah. Village. Yeah. yeah. And then, but after I moved in to land. Yeah. Maybe. And then, uh, maybe half a year later, mm -hmm. that hotel got bankrupt. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And so no one helped me. No place to live. No place to live. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so at that moment, at the hardest moment in my life, I, but I made a, you know, fishing lure, like, yeah. a, like a jigging spoon. Okay. Yeah. And, and then I catch fish, my jigging spoon, uh -huh. and we f f eat fish <laughs> every day. <laughs> to eat fish every day, which <laughs> yeah. is tough. Yeah, also I went to the, you know, mountain, yeah. and pick, you know, pine mushroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. sell yeah. to the mushroom barrier. Oh, and nice. the chest. <laughs> that, that kind of. <laughs> so it must have been pretty bad if you're there, mm -hmm. and you actually wish you had the car mm -hmm. that you used to live in when you were an apprentice <laughs> under Mr. Endo, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you actually missed the car from back then. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. So then at some point mm -hmm. you're there and mm -hmm. uh, you start helping design lures for mm -hmm. Shimano and yep. True Tungsten, I think it was? Yes, yes. As a 2000 to 2005 or 2006, yeah. at that moment, I helped the you know, lure design yeah. for Shimano Japan, not the not United States, okay. Shimano Japan yeah. and also True Tungsten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So this one is a, a Shimano bait. Oh, yeah, design. okay, yeah. Yep. Okay. It's called triple, triple impact waking bait. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So yep. these are bass bass baits for Japan. Bass or? bait. In Japan. Okay. Yeah. It's a JDM product. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So that must have helped. You must have got that. Must have, at least you're, mm -hmm. you you got to work now too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then in 2006 or sometime after mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you decided to start your own. That's yes. when Nishine Lure Works yes. was started, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So and you're still in BC at 2006? Yes, or? 2006 to BC. Okay. And yep. you, so you start the company there. Mm -hmm. And then at some point you decide you wanted to move mm -hmm. to Ontario. Yep. or But there's a reason why mm -hmm. you wanted to move. Mm -hmm. Like now now he lives in the Niagara region. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, it's an amazing place for fishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that why you picked that area? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So my I love all kind of fish, yeah. including saltwater fish. And BC is a great place for saltwater fishing. Yeah. But my most favorite fish is bass. Okay. Yeah. But I think that you know Ontario is the best place for bass fishing in Canada. For sure. Yeah. And then I researched where is the best place to live mm -hmm. in Ontario. I picked three three places. One was Orillia. You know, Orillia. Yeah. Yeah. One is Kingston. And Kingston, then yeah, yeah. Niagara region. Yeah, yeah. And, but uh, you know, I also I need I I need uh, you know open water in full full season to yeah, yeah, to no. testing lure. For sure. So <laughs> Niagara is for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I can I could find you know. Yeah. You know, open water. Then yeah. I pick the Niagara region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember when I I, mm. I when I moved to Ontario mm -hmm. and I found out that people were fishing all year round. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe mm -hmm. it. I'm like, mm -hmm. really? Mm -hmm. Let's go fishing in December. Mm -hmm. Even ice fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, mm -hmm. they fish mm -hmm. open water, Niagara River, and and, yeah. uh, and some of the best fishing ever. So yeah, you definitely picked the right place. I, I sure. believe so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and bass. I I can catch not only bass. Uh, you know, trout, walleye, muskie, pike, yeah. all, all of species I could yeah. catch in, in that area. Yeah. So that, it's a perfect place for who are designing. Yeah, right near Lake yeah. Erie for probably mm -hmm. the world's best mm -hmm. smallmouth fishing. Yep. And uh, Niagara mm -hmm. River for every other species mm -hmm. that there is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Good. So that was around 2011 that you moved there. Yep. Uh, you and your family, now you're settled in there mm -hmm. with you and your family and everything. And mm -hmm. Nishine, the lure, Nishine Lure Works has mm -hmm. been taking off like you're, you're building the company uh 
very in a very solid way i would say mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um and designing some of the mm -hmm. the most amazing lures so um quite an interesting story mm -hmm. um so basically when you're designing a lure now the mm -hmm. way it works for you mm -hmm. your company is at the spot mm -hmm. where you the way i understand it mm -hmm. you'll take a piece of wood mm -hmm. and you'll carve mm -hmm. what you want for that lure mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and from there you'll work on it to get it exactly the way you want right mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. you start all your lures carving wood or yep Okay. Yep. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. First thing I, I when I when I make a, you know start the new lure, just listen the voice from the wood. Oh, from the wood. Okay. From the wood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. What kind of wood do you use? Is it basswood? Basswood. Okay. Basswood. B A S S wood. Yeah. Where does basswood grow? It's not. I, I think east coast of Canada. I oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. I, see. I believe so. I remember very you... fine grain. Yeah. Very good for the carving. Like a, you know, bado carver, also carving the basswood. So is it similar to uh, balsa wood, but more no, dense? More dense. Okay. Uh, fine grain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very good material. So you always use basswood to yeah. start your yep. lure. Yep. And they all start that way. So mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you'll carve it. You got some knives here yep. that you use to okay. carve it. So, um, mm -hmm. so have you had these knives like your whole life, or you yeah, know, like, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. You were it's using number these in number three. Yeah. Number three, because I sh sharpen a lot. Okay, so... Yeah, they're getting shorter, so okay. this is the number three. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's the third one. Third one. Mm. So, third one going back from when you were with Mr. Endo? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it, it takes some mm -hmm. skill to, to mm -hmm. actually carve. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I've been living with this knife. Last 30 years? I for 30 years? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, it's a part of my body. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so now your shop is in your house. Like, I've been mm -hmm. to your house, and in the basement, that's mm -hmm. where your shop is. That's mm -hmm. where you do your designing. Yep. That's where you paint your, mm -hmm. I won't say your custom lures, mm -hmm. but you do sell online mm -hmm. some handmade or mm -hmm. hand painted lures, mm -hmm. right? Um, that sell out like so fast. Mm -hmm. I can't even get my hands on any of them. <laughs> they sell out. Sorry so for that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, and that's where all the designing is done now for you, is yes, right there, right? Yes. I just go fishing, listen to the fish, yeah, and then got the inspiration, yeah, and just make lure. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Right now, mm -hmm. how many lures that that are not on, you know, you haven't released to the market. How many ideas do you have? <laughs> Just roughly, how many ideas are you know. working on? Uh, maybe this this finger is not enough. To no, really, more you than know, ten. More. I I believe so. So you yeah. you won't mm -hmm. you don't like. Okay, this is my idea. I'm mm -hmm. going to work on it till mm -hmm. the end. You'll mm -hmm. have this idea, this idea, mm -hmm. and you'll constantly work the different ideas mm -hmm. to get them to where you're mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. And that, how long does it take usually for an idea mm -hmm. to become, mm -hmm. to hit the market? How many years can it at take? At least two years. At least two years. Yeah, because uh, at least one year, I want to test full season. Oh, yeah. Because okay. I need to understand yeah. Yeah, more about the you know, product. Yeah, and yeah. I want to find out uh, you know, more potential in the product. Yeah, so yeah. at least one year for test, just for testing. Just for testing. Yeah, yeah. but uh, from the beginning to mass production, yeah. uh, at least two years. And it can be, some of them have been, what, six, seven years probably? Or? Yeah, that, for example, AD 115 SD yeah. took nine years. Nine years. To, nine years. To get it where you're happy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I've also mm -hmm. heard rumors mm -hmm. where they'll you'll get it to mass production mm -hmm. and you'll get samples back from the factory mm -hmm. and you'll say no it's no good. No good. Hasn't that happened? Uh, many, many times. <laughs> many times. <laughs> so so really you're you're like okay now let's mm -hmm. this we're ready to mm -hmm. go and you'll get the mm -hmm. there's something you don't like mm -hmm. about it right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example this uh, here uh, mm -hmm. this uh, braided you know. Cheap RB braid. Yeah, uh, I refused just before the releasing. Just before they went to full production. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what was the issue? Uh, I it? didn't satisfy the you know, shape of braid. Okay. Yeah, I okay. found out. I found that the program uh, the braid. Yeah. Uh, just before releasing. Oh wow! wow. Then, uh, I we we postponed you know releasing huh. date half yeah. a year. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, Crazy. yeah it's common. Common. <laughs> yeah. So that's it's an very important. <laughs> I bet it costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the one thing that's. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. if if you see one of Hiroshi's lures on the market, mm -hmm. 
you know it's been tested and you know it's been proven that mm -hmm. he stands behind it, that it's going to be great bait. And there's, mm -hmm. I don't, I, I, you know, I'm not going to say there's no companies out there like that, but there's not very many lure companies out there like that. Mm -hmm. This is not your run-of-the-mill lures that, um, that are just mass production and let's do some colors, let's do Fire Tiger and let's do all the usual mm -hmm. colors. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot that goes into it and nothing hits the market unless Hiroshi uh, approves it and knows that it's going to work. You know, and we're talking... Uh, we're talking 40 years of experience as a lore designer, you mm -hmm. know, uh, so that's that's pretty impressive, yeah. right? So my uh, ultim ultimate goal yeah. is uh, uh, bring the happiness yeah. through, you know, to the people through our product. Through a lure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I really don't want to release for the unsatisfied product yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, and that's pretty amazing you mm -hmm, know that's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like I, I i've said in other videos you have to try these lures mm -hmm. like you just 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 go buy one i'm not telling you to mm -hmm. go buy a hundred of them mm -hmm. just go buy one and try it you will be amazed mm -hmm. there's a you, you will feel how much thought is behind that lure and i'm mm -hmm. i'm really not kidding like you'll mm -hmm. you'll feel how much uh, uh planning and thought goes into these lures you know uh so a, a pretty pretty amazing story you know um you staying in Canada or are you going to leave Canada? You're staying in I Canada. I'm staying in Canada right? because good. Good. fishing good. Yeah, yeah. Canada. That's why I moved to Canada, yeah. right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't imagine when I started start for uh, travel with bicycle yeah. at the, 18 years old. Yeah. First, you know. You know first crank. <laughs> first crank. Yeah. Just, just, you know, you know. You would end up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't imagine. But yeah, yeah. it's happening in my life. It's an amazing story. We're almost the same age too, which is kind of yeah. funny, you know. Yeah. We're both yeah. in our yeah. early fifties and stuff. Yeah, um, and, and yeah. It, it, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's amazing that from Japan that mm -hmm. you end up here and yeah, all this. Yeah, you know? Japan is the the other side of yeah, know, it's a far far way, very far, wrong far way far to away. get yeah. Canada. But I'm so happy to yeah. be here. I sincerely hope that when mm. things get better. You know, I would love to go to Japan with you. Mm -hmm. I would, you've told me about Lake Biwa, mm -hmm. and uh, I would love to go fish there sometime. Mm -hmm. So hopefully in the future we'll be able yeah, to go there yeah. together. Let's do it. An interesting thing about fishing in Canada, I'll just tell you this one quick story that mm -hmm. me and Hiroshi were fishing up at my cottage in Quebec. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, you know, we're fishing this beautiful lake and there's nobody around. We're the only boat on the whole mm -hmm. lake, you know. And, and I started asking about Lake Biwa and everything. And mm -hmm. he's telling me about it and uh, how great it is. And then he mm -hmm. says, uh, well, yeah, you know, if we were on Lake Biwa now, there'd be 200 boats around us. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? He goes, <laughs> he goes, there's so many people that fish that lake that there would be literally 200 boats around mm -hmm. us. And I was like, oh, yeah, we, you know, I'd love to go to Lake Biwa, mm -hmm. but I think we have it good in Canada where we can find a lake mm -hmm. and, and be on our own and mm -hmm. fish. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um I really appreciate you telling me the story. Okay. I understand you have uh, a secret on a lure that's coming out soon. <laughs> if you wanna, <laughs> do you wanna share? Like, a, oh, yeah. uh, I think there's, a, yeah. there's the cool thing about it is all the most of the lures are named after places in Canada. So mm -hmm. Chippewa is named after uh, a place in Niagara, mm -hmm. Chippewa River, mm -hmm. um, and there's a lure coming out called the Simcoe, uh, based on Lake mm -hmm. Simcoe, which is an awesome yep. smallmouth fishery. Yep. So. What kind of bait is the Simcoe going to be? What kind uh, of lure? It's a lipless crankbait. Oh, nice. Okay, this one is coming in this year, some point of this year. See, Simcoe. <laughs> <laughs> Simcoe. So, yeah. Uh, mm. I, you let me fish with one of these. <laughs> yeah, here. yeah. It, it's very heavy, right? Like, very heavy. So, are, are you doing one size or two sizes? Two sides, side, heavy model, um, yeah. light, light model. So is it an ounce and uh, uh, about know? half ounce and also uh, zero point nine ounce. Okay, a half yeah. ounce and just under yeah. one yeah. ounce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. With rattles in it or? And this year only silent will be coming. Okay. But I believe next year we're gonna have a rattling model. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the 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 one I fished with mm -hmm. was silent, but mm -hmm. it it's. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as you turn your handle, mm -hmm. it starts vibrating. Yeah, like yeah. instantly, yeah. it's uh, you don't have to you know mm -hmm. get it going. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. really, really goes mm -hmm, right away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we actually mm -hmm. caught some fish on it. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. So you think that'll be out in July or uh, mid summer? Maybe maybe, ra maybe later. Maybe later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But good. it's coming before ice fish. Ice fish. Before ice fish. Good. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. So mm -hmm. keep your eyes open for that. A Simcoe. Mm -hmm. So a new uh, mm -hmm. uh, rattle bait like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, 
Again, mm -hmm. yeah, it's beautiful. Nice color, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Great. Yep. Hiroshi, thank you so thank much. You, you. Uh, it's you know, As you know, I've told you, it's an mm -hmm. honor to meet you and mm -hmm. to hang out with you. Mm -hmm. To work with you is a privilege for mm -hmm. me. Um, and uh, let's just keep let's just keep sure. building lures sure. and selling lures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions for Hiroshi, you know, go through his Instagram. Go through. He's on every bit of social media. I, I urge you to follow him because he's going to give you a lot of fishing tips and he will help you catch more fish obviously he's talking about his lures but those lures will help you catch more fish so if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel give us a like and um, join us for the next video thanks guys thanks Hiroshi thank you